Well, in the world of the wacky, and I wouldn't put this out there because I think there's another angle to this. If it um, turns out to be something that's made to look true, let me put it that way. They got these. They got internet rumors out there, left and right, that there's an alien threat in the Pacific Ocean. Internet rumors, right? Internet, whatever you want to call it. There's an alien threat in the Pacific Ocean. And China and Russia and uh, the United States are getting together uh, trying to combat the threat because, you know, um, America's naval forces are pretty much concentrated in the Persian Gulf region, so they can't respond to this threat. Now, <laughs> you know, there's one thing I was always thinking of, and I've read this many years ago. Farner von Braun, Farner von Braun, you know, the rocket scientist was a rocket scientist for the Germans or the Nazis during World War II. And then he worked for um, our space program for all through the years, uh, you know, did Apollo and all, his, all that type of stuff, the moon launch. On his deathbed, supposedly, he said that there would be a fake alien invasion and... It would, the whole thing would be uh, just a scam. Now, as far as UFOs existing and aliens existing someplace in this vast universe, I tend to believe that there is, but um, I don't know about as far as them being here right now and that type of stuff. Who knows? I kind of doubt that, but anyway. Um, but this is a really healthy rumor out there, and I'd like to know how these damn rumors start, but, you know, they got the Chinese uh, naval naval ships out there combating this bad threat they're not friendly aliens so I like to know who makes up these stories because um, maybe it's from our own government to freaking freak people out about crazy stuff you know I am not putting any faith in this story but the real purpose of this is actually to warn people if you look up what Varner Braun Brown said um, you know, supposedly he said on his deathbed that there would be a fake alien invasion. And, you know, that kind of does fit everything else. Uh, if you look at the modus operandi of the uh, elite, you know, how do we get people to sacrifice and give up their individual freedoms? It has to be for a common cause. And, you know, it's always been the uh, rationale that people will get behind, you know, the nation. They'll get behind, you know, the monarch, the kings, or whatever it is. They'll get behind the nation to fight a war against a common enemy. And they will sacrifice way more than they would ever do during peacetime. And in the absence of war, how do you get people to be that ambitious and self-sacrifice that much? You know, part of the game was the environment, right? The environment. Will people... They will sacrifice the environment, save the earth, you know, that type of thing. Um, so it could fit in with, if this is a big fake operation, you know, I tend to think it is. Because if there was these highly sophisticated aliens, um, it would be all over with, you know. So I wouldn't even worry about it, you know. That's the way I look at it. <laughs> I mean, they'd, they'd probably have a planet destroyer, you know. Boom, you wouldn't even know what hit, hit, hit you. So just enjoy your life and hell with it. But uh, this may be a scam. I don't know. That's what I'm tending to think because it's really out there. And I don't think these rumors just start all by themselves. I don't think some wacko just starts putting some things out there. I think there's a coordinated, organized effort to, to push this garbage out there, and it's for a reason. But just remember Varner, Werner Von Braun's words that there would be an alien invasion a fake one that would cause all people to like unite against the common cause see that's where the the power trippers got you they got you to they want you to sacrifice so you unite against the common cause it could be this i don't know i don't know but man this is this is the wackiest crap i've ever seen i mean i don't know well i'm putting it out here but you're probably going to hear from a lot of people on the internet talking about this garbage left and right. It's already out on the internet left and right. So I think, um, you know, I want to put my twist on it. And I want people to remember what Varner Von Braun said. 
there would be a fake alien invasion and it would be perpetrated by governments or you know people on the top to get people to sacrifice for a common cause a common enemy and you know you're basically going to be giving something up more centralized control that kind of garbage so I don't know it's rack it's wacky stuff but uh, hey you know I just have to look at it like this just like the 9 9 2012 countdown clock hey man that may be the when the eruption of the uh, Muslim world goes wacky so we got a lot of weird shit going on here we got the Muslim world going wacko about a Monty Python like Muslim movie I mean I, I don't know what that I, I can't see how that movie's so offensive it's so stupid you got the alien thing out here you got China going nuts over some islands because they got oil in them you know and now they're like overturning Japanese cars and then they're going after the U.S. ambassador. I mean, you got a lot of crazy shit going on. And actually, I think there's some devils behind all this garbage pushing it that way. So uh, keep cool <laughs> and uh, just avoid the crazy rumors. But I just want to say again, my take on this: if this turns out to be something that's, you know, pretty wild and publicized and it hits mainstream news. And, you know, you remember what it was about six, eight months ago, they had that you know, that missile launch, whatever the hell it was, off the uh, California coast, and they caught that on, uh, you know, ta on tape. It was a missile launch. It wasn't a plane. God, I mean, I'm not an idiot. I could see what the hell that was. It was probably a Chinese missile launch. But there's a lot of things going on, and they're designed to worry the hell out of people. So I'm thinking is if this gets to be like a mainstream news story, I say it's a scam. I say it's a scam. It's one of those, the ancient deal, get the people to fight the common cause. And when they do that, they give up a lot of their rights and individual rights. And, uh, you know, they, get, they sacrifice for, you know, the powers that be to fight the common cause. That's the scam.